former CEO of Prasa, Lucky Montana, has applauded the move to dissolve the entire board. Montana, speaking to ANN7, said it has been a long time coming. He was ousted last year from his position with the chair, Popo Molefe, revealing Montana's alleged corruption. Now Montana has hit back, saying Molefe was, has always shifted blame and pointed fingers at others, including the minister. The SAG Prasa board chair has, is clearly unhappy with the move by the transport minister. While talking to ANN7, Molefe said the board sacking is an attempt to protect Litsualo. He says that the board reserves its right to take action. Molefe claims that they had been dealing with matters of graft. Molefe claims the sacking of the board is a possible abuse of executive power by the minister. Molefe said that the minister in the past too has tried to stop investigations into Prasa. He went on to say that he is dissatisfied with the minister and will challenge the minister's action. He says they were expecting that the minister would read their report and not take drastic action. Finally, Molefe claims the minister wants to stop Prasa's graft probe. I've not received a letter, so I don't know uh, what are the reasons, save that in the news uh, they ascribe the, the reason to uh, the debate in the portfolio committee, the kinds of things that parliamentarians uh, have been saying, some of which were very wild and irrational anyway. Uh, so I'm waiting for my letter that will explain to me. Meanwhile, former CEO of Prasa, who had a heated exchange of words with the then board chair of Prasa, Molefe, has welcomed the move to dissolve the whole board. I think the decision was long overdue. I want to commend the Minister of Transport uh, for, for finally having the courage. Uh, because I, I ask myself, how, why it should take two years? Because if you analyze uh, Prasa, but more specifically Metro Rail and Shosholoza Mail, that comprises its, uh, its rail business. Those two businesses have almost collapsed. And I support the, the decision by the portfolio committee that an inquiry be set up with strengthened governance. But let me tell you from where I sit, in the next uh, uh, a few weeks, we have to get Metro Rail and Shosholoza Mail working. If we can't do that, I think Prasa will implode. The Minister of Transport, Dibu Peters, explained the move to dissolve the Prasa board. She cited the ungovernable manner they have been operating under. The Minister further highlighted how the board irregularly dismissed the acting CEO of Prasa.